Anyway, enough of that blabbering. Before we start the show, just want to offer my thoughts and prayers out to Joseph Capriati. Um, some absolutely terrible news broke on the social media um, this morning. Um, I was hoping, I was hoping and praying it wasn't anything too tragic, but still, um, it's still bad as it is because um, he's stayed in stable conditions. But immediately when I saw the headline, I was like, "No, come on, man, don't start off the year like this." But this is courtesy of Mixed Mag and says the following: Joseph Capriati hospitalized after being stabbed by his father. Right, as crazy and nutty as that sounds, yeah, that's basically the truth of it. Um, the DJ's father has been arrested for attempted murder. It says the following: Joseph Capriati has been hospitalized after being stabbed by his father. The two allegedly got into a fight during. Capriati's father, um, which Capriati's father, 61, stabbed his son in the chest with a kitchen knife. Capriati has been taken to the Casareta hospital and his father has been arrested for attempted murder. Casareta, so um, Capriati um, usually resides in Spain, but since the coronavirus pandemic, he has returned to live with his family in Casareta, Italy. Absolutely crazy news, isn't it? So again, so far, the last thing I've heard from um, some other DJ, I think he was a close friend of his, posted that he's in a stable condition now. But again, still, you know, offering my thoughts and prayers go out to him. Don't really know the the crux of the story. Don't really care, to be honest. Um, mostly wishing him a speedy recovery and hopefully he gets around um, to doing what he loves best um, sooner rather than later. But God almighty, it's made more tragic too because I, I just had listened or rewatched his episode of DJ and Beers, which you should definitely check out if you're a fan of dance music. It's on um, Chris Liebling's channel. Essentially six six DJs, right? He basically They basically sit down um, every Thursday, have a little bit of a conversation, you know, about the world of dance music and DJing. Of course, with a couple of beers exchanged between them uh, via Zoom and then they sometimes have guests sometimes it's just those guys talking amongst themselves but the one with Joseph Capriati was incredibly incredibly inspiring um, you could just see how passionate he is about the music how passionate he is about the culture how passionate he is about his craft um, he's got stories for days and just kind you know the warmth of him and because I think sometimes you forget right I think I can sometimes be like that too because there's so many different splinters and groups of people within dance music and everyone gets a bit clicky but sometimes you can look at somebody like a Joseph Capriati and see all these pictures of him hugging people and kissing everyone behind the decks and just being a whole bubble, a whole, um, you know, um, a bubble of good times. And you can sometimes look at it and be a little bit cynical and be like, ah, corny, cringe. But then the moment you listen to him actually speaking on that DJ and Beers um, podcast and you see how deep his history is in dance music, um, how this has been his singular pursuit since, you know, he was a teenager, essentially. And he, he's effectively been able to kind of make his dreams a reality. Like, I kind of got the feeling DJs are equivalent to him. DJs were equivalent to like football players to him. You know, like when you're like a footballer, when you're a kid and you, you, you know, you try your best to become pro and you idolize these like amazing professional footballers. And then somehow you're lucky enough to actually become a professional footballer and you're sharing the pitch with people that you had their posters on your wall. That's what I got the feeling watching Joseph Capriati's um, DJs and Beers um, interview and podcast. He was just chuffed to be around all these people that he kind of idolized growing up, people that he thought were the shits and still think they're the shit. So, you know, it's tragic to hear this stuff happening because it's, he, I don't know why this, that tends to happen. Whenever you, somebody gets into, whenever somebody crosses, is your consciousness and you're some somehow aware of them um sooner rather than later something either really great happens something really bad happens i don't know why that is maybe because it's you're paying attention there's probably some psychological um uh, or physiological no, yeah probably some psychological reasoning behind that i'm pretty sure but regardless of the fact anyway um i'm wishing that guy a speedy recovery man like he is a real pillar of dance music um you know history today and tomorrow he's got a lot more to give and to offer up to the scene um, and again, hoping he, wishing him a speedy recovery, for some prayers go out to his family. Again, it's probably the toughest, toughest time to go through with it being allegedly his father that stabbed him in the chest. I'm pretty sure they're not going through the best of times. So again, these are one of those m moments, you know, when everyone was kind of, you know, pretending, not pretending, but they were kind of showing pictures of flipping Eric Murillo and, you know, excusing his behavior online. These are the times that people need your support, especially if you're close to him, do you know what I mean? And you're actually his real friend. You should be reaching out to his family, trying to get in touch, trying to make his life and the family's life as easy as possible by offering up some help sending some money whatever you can do this is where friendship actually comes in it's all well and good him getting you guest list helping you out with free drinks and all this sort of shit and giving you um gigs to go and play at but this is where people actually need you um through this really troubling time where there's probably a lot more to the story than we actually know about stuff that we probably should have no business even knowing in the first place but because he's a public figure it is what it is so anyway th um, that regardless i'll end it by saying um thoughts and prayers go out to joseph capriati and his whole family hope he gets 
well very very soon and he's back doing what he loves um because he has a lot more to offer to the world but yeah for some prayers guys to joseph capriati get well soon mate wishing you a speedy speedy recovery